Well, now that my armor, my Iron Man armor, has been found to be bulletproof, bomb resistant, and flight worthy, it is time for me to give it a new home, and that is off of my body and onto a suitable and appropriate armor stand. I need my Iron Man armor standing at the ready like the hall of armor that Tony Stark has. I'm not saying I'm going to make many more suits of Iron Man armor, but I'm at least going to start with one. So, armor stand, here we come. Now, in the course of filming this, uh, we were hard on this suit of armor. <laughs> we shot guns at it. I wore it for a bunch of days, uh, and we exposed it directly to uh, an explosion of C4 from only like three feet away. Consequently, a lot of the things holding it together started to deteriorate. So in addition to getting it up on its armor stand, I also need to fix it. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going through the process of bringing it back to a uh, display-worthy state. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Yeah, that, that's what I wanted. All right, let's test fire this puppy. Oh, uh, wow, we really, uh, we beat the hell out of that arc reactor. Yeah, only three of our original lights still work. <laughs> well, it's just going to be what it's going to have to be.
This doesn't look weird at all. I know it might upset you to see me abusing a beautiful Japanese saw like this, but this is my, um, this one's already suffered a lot of abuse and it is my sacrificial Japanese saw. Just so you know. All right, so right now I'm trying to get this half torso or three quarter torso mounted to my upright pipe so that I can start to hang the rest of the costume off of it. The costume was built to hang off of my shoulders, which uh, from what I understand from Shane and the amazing artisans at uh, Legacy is how the real one worked. Uh, the actor or the stunt person wore a harness and the legs worked on suspenders off of that harness and so did the arms uh, and it distributed the load across the actor's body. <sighs> I'm trying to do the same thing with my fiberglass body here. But now I'm just trying to see a hole. Yeah, so this is, this is really tricky. Need a longer bolt. The worst part of this equation is that the inside of the fiberglass manufacturing, this mannequin is like sticky in a way that's really freaking disgusting. And it's like, Ah, sticks to my hands in a way that's horrendous. Feels awful. Can I tell you the worst thing about working with fiberglass? Is that it itches. But not in a like, you can scratch that itch kind of way. It itches in an abiding, gotta go home and take off all your clothes, shower immediately, violate the terms of your rental lease, and then put on new clothes itchy. That kind of itchy. <sighs> and it's just started to warm up here in San Francisco, so as you can see, I'm exerting and perspiring, which makes the fiberglass dust stick to you even better. I know, I know, I know the cornstarch thing, but I didn't do it in the beginning, so. <sighs> anyway, I'm suffering just a little bit. Well, this torso is, uh, it's totally radically different proportions than I was expecting. Uh, and the suit doesn't fit on it as well as it does on my soft uh, torso. So we may end up with our Iron Man in a little more of an action pose, but I can deal with that. This 
So if that's the case, yeah, that's not going anywhere. Then I could, okay. Cause these guys can live in here and hide those crimes. Yes, they can. Look at that. That looks great. Okay, so shoulders. Here comes the back. Dude! That, wow. I'm. After all that fighting in the beginning, I'm kind of impressed with how that just went. This bad boy. Accurate to the real Iron Man. One can only wear this suit if one gets bolted into it. Yeah. Not for the claustrophobic. Wow, I'm a, I'm a, don't film it from the back. Not from the back, only from the front. <laughs> Everything, every movie star has a good side and so does every suit of armor. <laughs> ah, look at that. That is so pretty. I, uh, yeah, he's action pose, action pose. Every now and then I look at this and it re-sinks into me that it is, um, a quarter of a million dollars in 3D printed titanium. Holy hell. It is a beautiful thing. Well, I may one day rebuild this armor stand, but for right now, this, this is great. It gets him up, it gets him out, it gets him part of the cave, so I can look at him and get a little gleeful every single morning. Lovely. All right, Tony, until next time.